Hello everyone, my name is John Marie Sundra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today everyone will just paint a very simple basic landscape with a house, uh, trees and some grasses. So it will be typically like that. And please don't forget to subscribe, you have to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now, and I'm going to paint first the sky and uh, and uh, the grasses. So yeah, so I will just do like that first. So I have here the blue and the white. There. So I'll say to put my horizon here on the very bottom below the center. Okay. White. Blue and the uh, white. Okay, so we can create the light blue. So I am doing this one first. Under painting. So we're gonna Fill the sky first. I want the darker sky now, not this time. So, if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing and always have fun, everyone. There, a little white. So we're gonna make the bottom part lighter. So I always make this lighter. With, that's why I'm, I'm putting it white, I'm adding white here. my uh, backgrounds a little noisy I think it's raining outside so I'm gonna add some white more white so I need to uh, make the blending better so I'm gonna blend it here and there so and so forth so I need to uh, do it uh, from left to right I need to have uh, one stroke only so that uh, that will become smooth there okay now I'm going to start adding the uh, grasses so I will try to put some red color a little orange or something red and uh, red and the uh, uh, yellow we can also make put some browns or raw umber to make this I really like this kind of color everyone because uh, it will make my uh, colors or landscape much more bright. Or much brighter, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will try to use this again. It's a little lighter, but it's a little greenish now. So uh, I will try to put in the bottom part. It's okay, everyone. Uh, it will say that it will be a little afternoon sky. But uh, I will cover it also with clouds later on. So it's okay. So I have to blend it here, the bottom part. On the center, or the below the center part. I need to, I need to blend it. Uh, going up so that you can spray the paints good there yeah okay 
okay there so we need to let it dry first for at least five minutes and we can go back adding some more details okay everyone so uh, i think the paint is already dry now and i'm going to start adding details so i will go first with the clouds see so here yeah i'll just put the clouds here i want to put a bigger clouds there i want to make it uh, cloudy yeah so i'm going to start now and i'll try this uh bristle flat brush number eight the medium size bristle flat brush i will uh mix first the blue and the red to make some purple and then white there a little more red and then blue and then white okay that's it and then i will start putting some clouds here some other painting first there I'll put here the base of the clouds it's always like that mostly so it's always like that everyone it's mostly like that not always so with the base of the clouds put some white thing and put it here you can you can level uh, with the light and then some some dark something like that then I have to blend it good here so everyone if my background is still noisy So I have to blend it here. There. And it was here. Also put some whites or lighter color, not just white, but a lighter uh, lighter purple. But just blend it well here everyone. Sorry, run if uh, background is so nicey. Okay, just blend it here. But uh, don't worry, uh, this part, uh, I don't know, maybe I will, I will cover it later on. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna put it in the bottom part here to see that uh, they're light. Extensions there or something. Uh, I will cover here later also, sorry about this. Maybe I will just cover this uh, clouds there. I'm thinking where I'm gonna put the light, so maybe I will put the lights on the on the right side uh, not also sure on the right side or maybe left side okay I'll, I'll just decide that later on so I'll just put uh, under painting later no I will put I will put details on this under painting later so here I'll try to make a little like that here There. and I'll put the house here it will be a little bigger and in the back of the house will be some trees something like that through the horizon okay there and yeah I am thinking of putting the lights on the right side so yes 
that uh, I will request and I will answer my question. So clean your brush first. Okay, so I have white here. And then we'll start adding some highlights. So it's still wet. Motorcycles. I don't know what you're doing with the motorcycles, but uh, it's just normal here. Also, I have a skinny pig. So here, I'll just do it slowly, everyone, to create the highlights of this. Uh, clouds there try to uh, use some lighter purples and then white there I'll have to blend on the sides everyone using these colors try to use now a smaller brush which is the number two nylon flat brush I'll use a pure white Okay.
guys so you have now uh, these clouds with the light on the right side okay so I'll keep on adding some details I keep on blending on the sides everyone Okay, so we're gonna put all the lights on the left side I mean on the right side everyone uh, to show that uh, it's heating by the great light there Okay, so it's looking great now. Slowly become a beautiful clouds. Maybe here, I'll try to make this part brighter. I will continue adding some lights everyone it's just a pure white but the good thing is that it's, it, it's mixing on the on the background that's why it turns uh, it blended good okay yeah for now uh, I think this clouds will be enough I don't know maybe I'll try to retouch it later on but for now maybe that's fine yeah I'll just put it on this part because uh, I'm putting some trees on the center everyone so yeah i'll just cover it so yeah uh, maybe i will just try to put some background trees there uh, for now uh, small trees or yeah or forest something like that so here i have the blue and the red and then white more red I will put more white everyone here I'm using the bristle flat brush number 10 put the horizon here much uh, down okay so 
So just a tapping technique. Okay, so we have now uh, distant forest here. So now, next I'm going to put a bigger forest. I have the blue, no, the blue, the raw umber, and the red. I want it dark, everyone. And the red. So here, I will try to put a house here. I'll try to use the spoiler first now, for now. Sorry. Uh, maybe I want it bigger, everyone. There. Sorry, everyone. Of the dogs. So I will put the chimney there, but yeah, that will be the design of my house. Maybe something like that, and I'll move a little bit here. Okay, yeah. Sorry, everyone. Uh, you might be confused with the with the sketch, but uh, yeah, it'll be for now. Sorry about the noise there. So I'm gonna put more lumber. Yeah, I'm gonna put uh, some trees in the background. So just tapping technique. So we're just tapping technique. I'll just have to cover everything here. There. 
Oke. Okay. Sorry. Just for umber, I'll try to use this for umber. I'll just cover this clouds there. Yeah. Actually, you can use the umber, everyone. It's fine. It will actually look black. and very very simple i will put one big tree here one maybe one burst tree yeah this will be in a perspective okay okay and i will try to put more grasses here try now to put the, the the grasses first everyone before I'm gonna start adding some details or painting the house so I will put the details here first for the thing okay so I have here the yellow with a little red and then white Yeah, we can make this uh, straight and lighter, uh, lighter orange. There. I can even put uh, some white. So everyone about the noise. The dogs. Okay. I can put some orange like that. The stopping technique everyone make it a uh, make the stroke bigger so that uh, you can see the details highlights on this uh, on this uh, distant forest so I'll be using just the uh, number two nylon flat brush small size flat brush I'll just mix some green blue and the yellow maybe a little raw amber and white there it's dark I'm gonna put I'm gonna make it um, lighter sorry for about the dogs Get a little lighter. I'm 
ya lo So these are trees that grow in the forest. So you have now some smaller details. I'm gonna put some darker greens also so that I can blend it good. Okay, so we can see that uh, there are trees there uh, on the far. Okay, yeah. And now I will start adding the details on the uh, small house. So I will have now this uh, orange and white there so I'll follow this one here it will be a light brown everyone Sorry about the noise, everyone. Okay, I cannot stop those noises on my background. Okay. try to uh, retouch some parts okay wait a little Okay, I think that looks good now. This everyone. Everyone, these kids are really nice. And this part will be uh, brownish. You can you can you can sketch it with pencil if you want first. Uh, honestly, it kind of complicated a little. Yeah, there. I think it's fine. Uh, and I will make the roof uh, red. I like really like the red, everyone. But. The red, I'm gonna mix with the raw amber to make it not so much with a little yellow. It's a reddish brown.
Okay. Okay, there. Well, we can have a little more overhang. Okay, so we have now the brown. Also, we should not forget that chimney, everyone. We're gonna put it here. Okay. I will put more brown here. This part will be a little slighter so that we can see also the perspective. Okay. Yeah, so you have now this house. And of course, uh, I'm gonna put a little overhang on this part. Move here. There. Okay. Yeah, and then I will try to put. I think it's dry. Yeah. I'll try to put uh, some designs, everyone, but I will be using this number zero flat brush or uh, number zero liner brush or round brush. So, here I will try to put a line here using this. Okay, wait. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put thing here, everyone. Something like this. And also here. So it's something like uh, another roof. So I need to make this brush wet. There, I'll also put it here, something like this. I 
I think I need more of one. There. Okay, so yeah, I would just try to put some lines or lights. So here I have the light uh, orange. Maybe I will make it uh, much more reddish there. Uh, this part is still wet, so it might hard to. Yeah, that's a bad thing about uh, wet canvas, everyone. A uh, wet pens because it's hard to add another another layers. There. And then also I need to put uh, shadows on the on the inside. So here I will try to use this uh, blue umber with a bluish color. Yeah, still wet. So I uh, advise everyone you can uh, you can let it dry first. Yeah, there's children playing outside. Also here, I'll try to put some sh shadows, plastic shadows. Okay. There you go. Yeah, so you have now uh, look like a house now. And then I will try to put some highlights. So here, I'll try to use this one with a little yellow. I'll make a house of this. I will put the highlights of this. Okay. Then this one. And then I'm gonna use some white, really pure white here. I oh, wait. I'm going to put uh, first some windows, windows and doors. So I have here. I put a window here. And also I will use this blue color. Yeah, here. I'll try to put a door here in the center. Uh, it's just a blue door. Okay. Uh, you can also put some window using this brown. There. 
and then I'll try to put a little more design something like this There. Also here. Also, to put more darks. Okay. Yeah. Looks like a house now. And now, uh, next, I will try to put some lights. Actually, lights will make it alive. So I'll just use the pure white. So, just like that. And also here. And in here, I'll try to put uh, one pose and also here. There. Uh, you can use the brown. And white. This is the design. Okay, so that will look like a house now on the far. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I will make a little lighter on this uh, on the other side, everyone. So it's still so dark. So I have here the raw umber, mix it a little bluish. lighter with the the roof everyone I'm gonna make it a little lighter so yellow and the red some more orange here it's a lighter color maybe much more reddish and 
so I will try to put some little lighter color on the roof maybe some a little reddish Say here. Okay. Yeah. So we have now this house. Uh, and also, everyone, we're gonna put some uh, some details on the uh, some windows on the uh, left side. So I'll be using a smaller brush. I'm gonna put some windows. This brush. So I'm gonna use this uh, dark color here. Uh, it's a dark purple. I'm gonna put more red. put some darks here sorry we're gonna put the noise <laughs> it's always been noisy here okay and before I forget about the chimney I will use the brown this brown one the light color there okay so I will proceed now on this uh, part on the trees yeah I'll come back later on the house okay so I will now put some details on the or some leaves on the trees. So I'll be using the bristle plus bus number 10. I have here the blue and the yellow. Yeah, I will mix it with red. Uh, more blue and the yellow. Okay, so you can use the topping technique everyone. We're gonna put first on the left side. some yellow so yellow will be on the right side a little reddish yellow and red
Okay. There. Yeah, so I will put a, a little light browns for the sheet trunk. I have no yellow, so I will put yellow first here. So I have the brown or raw amber. I'm going to put some white. Sorry, everyone. Sometimes you need to be careful. There might be colors on your fingers, and he will he will destroy your paint. So yeah, you can you can also remove it using 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 water. There. Okay. Yeah. And the tree now looks good, looks a uh, realistic tree. Okay, so I will proceed on the other side. Okay, so I will put now uh, some grasses here and I will try to put one big, uh, I think a birch tree here. Okay, and maybe something like that. Okay, or not just not, not a birch tree, but uh, any kind of tree uh, that would come out of my mind. So I have here the brown with the yellow. Some darker greens. I can apply first some darker greens. Then you can use some normal green. So some orange. So we need to mix uh, those things here, everyone. Wait, I'm going to put a little darker greens here. This will be in the dark side. Also there. You can blend a little like this. There. And then I will try to put some more yellow. And then you can create now some grasses. Tapping technique.
there. Uh, not so light greens, everyone. I'll put white. Sorry about the nice everyone. can control this noise <laughs> I just need to change my studio or transfer okay there that's enough it's not for that part looks good it's just simple but looks good and I will put one tree there so this one tree everyone will uh, it will make everything balance yeah, maybe just one tree, a small, uh, no, I don't, not small, but a bigger one tree on this part. Because I want to cover some parts here, so I put one tree. I told you this is good already, but I still want to put one tree here. I'm not contented yet. <laughs> so I'm going to put it here. So I'll be using a smaller brush, this. zero liner brush or round brush and here I'll put it here A little bigger. Then don't forget the the branches. This tree one, I'm gonna try to put uh, bigger leaves. So I have here, yeah, blue, uh, red, and a little yellow. More blue, yeah. Yeah, maybe I will try to use a bigger brush now. Still this brush. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Those children are uh, they're beginning to be to be noisy again.
Swerve it. Okay, I think that will be enough because I need to finish it faster. I really sorry everyone. Because I don't I'm really distracted with children. So I have to finish it faster really. Honestly, they are really distracting me. I should have made this in the night. Okay, so light light cream. Okay, light light green everyone. So we need to make a uh, bigger leaves. That's why I'm using this. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna support on the other side. Okay, yeah. So again, I'm gonna mix for darker greens. So just put put uh, red on the green, everyone. Then I'm gonna put a uh, white, uh, lighter green. So on the right side, we can put the highlights. Just a very simple tree, everyone, on the, on the left side. Okay, it will make everything look good. And now I'm going to uh, use this uh, light orange and then white. I'm gonna put highlights on this tree.
there. There. And then some raw umber. Yeah, I will try to add some a little orange on the other side. Okay. Yeah, more white everyone. I want it to be brighter. There. Okay. And then some casted shadow on the bottom part. I'll use these dark greens or dark. everyone I'm almost done okay so I will now start uh, retouching here putting some more bushes grasses and then I will be finished okay so I have here I will also put some green everyone not just orange but also greens And then light. And there's the topping, everyone. Put some yellow. Uh, light green and then white. Okay. There. I'm gonna put more white on this light green. There. Okay. And then I will mix again for yellow and the red
Okay. Uh, more yellowish. So everything is just a random abstract uh, strokes everyone uh, to create those beautiful uh, grasses, bushes and whatever you can see there. So here the combination of uh, different types of color strokes it will make a beautiful uh, surroundings or a beautiful uh, grassy fields something like that so when you just combine everything there like these greens yellow greens orange yellow reddish grasses or plants you can create beautiful things here you can create beautiful fields look like uh, fields that have plenty of anything there so that's how we're gonna do it and for me it looks uh, really good and it just looks very simple but it looks like a very cold and beautiful field so i like the outcome everyone and i think uh, i am done i'm finished and yeah i am very contented and it's just very very simple landscape that uh, you can create you can practice uh, this is actually good for the beginners and also for the advanced artists you can also try this and yeah and uh, it took me like i think uh, almost one hour and 30 minutes but uh, the entire result is uh, looks perfectly good it looks beautiful so and it's just simple and and realistic okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors with palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like and some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.